Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do an overview of the maiden and tuning of the Holy Bro Shuriken. And I'm not going to cover too much of the maiden here because um, out of the box in the stock settings on clean flight it does not fly very well. So as you can see here I'm doing a roll and uh, you can see right away there's a lot of bounce back. And it's pretty obvious that the P gains are way too low and um, there's some other uh, sections of the video here where the, um, the quads is drifting all over the place. The controls feel mushy, uh, sluggish, just doesn't feel good to fly. So out of the box, they've definitely put in some very conservative settings, and um, in my opinion, uh, they definitely can be more aggressive on the gains. And here I'm about to fly into a tornado. Uh, yes, it was very windy that day. And I ended up not uh, continuing to fly this craft because it, it's just not going to be very easy to tune when the wind is blowing it all over the place. So I come back the next day and I start to tune. And one of the great things about this quad is that it comes with a built-in OSD. And we you can actually change your PID settings within the OSD itself. So um, I enter the OSD and go ahead and I bump up my uh, P gains on roll pitch and yaw. And uh, I don't believe I touch anything else. I think lay, I think I do change my rates a little bit here because I, I felt that the rates were a little bit slow and not to my liking. Other than that, I go ahead and I test this out and, and you'll see that uh, uh, it improves somewhat, but um, I was a little bit too conservative in my uh, increase in numbers. So you can see here I'm testing out the roll and the pitch and uh, there's still quite a bit of bounce back, so I um, figured this out right away that I didn't bump up my numbers enough, so I immediately uh, head back and land and uh, make another set of changes.
So here are the uh, final uh, set of changes I made for the day. Um, you'll see that after I make these final adjustments, it does seem to fly quite a bit better. It's not 100% there, it's not quite perfect, but um, for me it felt a lot better than it did originally, and I felt it was good enough that I could stop at that point and maybe uh, continue tuning it uh, some other day. And uh, so, you know, if you want to know how to tune the shuriken, this is sort of the process you have to go through. If you just kind of, that's why I didn't cut out any of the video here. Just wanted to show you what I did, um, uh, what kind of things I saw in the flight, and then uh, the adjustments I made in the numbers. Basically, I increased P and I mostly uh, because the, the P w is controlling the bounce backs and the, actually the feel of how responsive the, the quad is and the eye was um, keeping the quad from drifting around. So both of those had to go up. These are the numbers that I came up with. It felt good to me. Uh, you might disagree with that. So, you know, just go into the OSD and adjust the numbers to your liking. Just up or down, feel free to experiment and uh, you'll find something that will work for you. Anyway, I guess hope you liked this little video on how to do the tuning for the Shuriken. It's actually pretty easy to do for clean flight. Uh, I may do another video in the future where I flash this with Betaflight and do a different tune for Betaflight. So if you guys are Betaflight flyers and are interested in uh, doing this for the Shuriken for Betaflight, let me know in the comments below. And uh, if I get enough interest, I'll uh, make another video for that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this, and I'll talk to you in the next video.